What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends Wong and Doctor Strange 2 pack. And that's the dog, which is pretty awesome. I can't believe we're actually getting a comic book Wong. I feel like it's, you know, been a long time coming, but I'm really happy to report that we're finally getting them. Alex Ross is my favorite comic book artist, so getting to see some work from him is always welcome. But this was an Amazon exclusive. Pre-ordered mine when it first went up and came over a month, almost two months earlier than it was originally expected. So that's always a good time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this two-pack up. So getting these magical masters out of the box, I gotta say, pretty solid. I mean, I don't need this Doctor Strange and I'm upset that I had to buy another one to get Wong. But, I mean, I can't imagine that Wong would be able to go in a wave and people would buy him. So I kind of understand that. So let's get Doctor Strange out of the way. Because it really is just a lot of reuse from that Walmart exclusive one, which I think is a damn near perfect Doctor Strange. Now, I still have that figure. It's over on the shelf right now. But he's in the back, so I'm not taking that out. But the torso is pretty much all the same. The legs are exactly the same, except these are pinless. Um, which is the only problem I have with the other one. Um, the hands are the same. This is a different cape, and the cape does look nice. I like the trimming on it. Looks cool. I think it's a different cape. No, I'm, like, pretty positive it's a different cape. And it's pegged into the front, which I like that. Um, I know some people don't, but I like it. I hate when I'm, like, fiddling around with the figure and it just moves constantly. So it's nice to kind of have it in place. Um, but the biggest new thing on this guy, other than the cape... Is the head sculpt and has a really good looking head sculpt he definitely looks evil undead even looks pretty cool very nicely done head sculpt so if this is a version of dr strange you wanted i don't think you're going to be disappointed i'm not going to go over the articulation just because it's the same as that dr strange and we've seen these legs maybe a thousand trillion times so you know there's really nothing to go over at that and in terms of accessories for him you get alternate hands with magic effects on it which I will say, I think that Doctor Strange was kind of lacking. So maybe these could go good with him to do that. That's a pretty cool thing. But the yellow kind of is nasty. So we'll have to see if these work on that Doctor Strange. But then we also get this alternate Dormammu head. Pop that off and pop this Dormammu head on. Uh, I don't really know why he has this. But it's pretty cool. Looks good. Soft plastic, which... You kind of don't see too often with flame effects, but it looks cool. I like it. Again, not something I want, but, you know, if I was to keep this, I'd probably keep the Dormammu head on there just because it looks a little bit more visually interesting. But what I came for is Wong, and Wong looks great. I believe this is an all-new sculpt. Maybe there are some reuse from the arms and legs from, like, the red skull, but, like, in the jumpsuit, but th this is... This is a lot more new than I thought it was going to be, and I, I'm I'm here for it. So, taking a look at the head sculpt, he does look old. He looks wise. I like that. He has a signature bald head. I like the green that they chose, and the yellow lining on it is nice. The gold that they painted on there is good, and I do like the socks, I guess? I don't really know. I go over the shoes, and you got the yellow paint on there. The sculpt is nice. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's nice. It's like a nice tunic. Um... Oh, there's even an extra one under there that kind of gets hidden. That's cool that they decided to paint that. But something kind of seems off with the proportions for me. Like, maybe it's just me. But, like, this, like, torso is nice. But it also doesn't sit right, almost. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me know. But maybe the shoulders are small and low. But the proportions just look a tad weird. Maybe the head's small. The hands are a little small. I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it. Not enough to, like, really bother me, but just something I noticed. Um, now, he does come with a little bit more accessories than Doctor Strange does. Comes with a couple alternate hands, including grip hands and these, like, martial arts pinch, grandma pinchy cheeky hands. I don't know. These, whatever, but why did we get these not fist hands? He doesn't have any in the holes. That pisses me off a little bit, but he does come with these cool effects that we've definitely seen a ton of times, but I, I like these kind of effects. I think they're super cool and add a lot 
of nuance to the figure, especially for a character like Wong. I like these a lot. Very nice translucent plastic. And speaking of translucent plastic, we get the dog that lives in the sanctum, sanctum, sanctum sanctorum. Bats the dog. Um, he comes with a little figure stand, but you can definitely take it out and just have a little um, beagle. Or no, he's like a little bloodhound, I guess. Yeah, he's more of a bloodhound. He's super cute, though. I like bats. Um, so these two are definitely the prize of the show for me. The green-fitted characters, right? In terms of articulation, he's got a double ball peg. And I'm tired of people saying that this isn't a good way to do it. Just do it right. They're getting better. It's not great, but it works. Shoulders go up, down, rotate 360. Get a little bit of a butterfly joint. It doesn't work great. It works better than most, but bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and the wrist swivel and hinge. I kind of already showed it, but the diaphragm joint is pretty good. I like it. Some good movement on there. It'll rotate. Yeah, nothing crazy. Now, they did advertise him doing the splits, and he can get pretty close. Not as far as I remember from the picture, but then again, I really don't remember that well. His thigh swivel, double jointed pinless knees, and then the ankles go down and up and pivot. Definitely needed a boot rotation here, or like a sock rotation. I don't, again, I don't know if they're socks, but you know, because when you want to get them in those splits, you really can't. So you got to like use it the thigh swivel, which it just would have been a lot easier to do it on there. And I, Wong's like one of those weird characters that you do want to be able to do the splits. Um, so he can't, he definitely can, and it doesn't look terrible at all, but yeah. Just keep that in mind. Here he is next, or here they are, next to the NECA Toys King Kong along with the Jazz Rush Fortnite Series 6-inch Peely. Here they are next to the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men Series Darwin. And finally, here they are next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If Series Zombie Captain America. So, you may be wondering, yo, Ant, what are your final thoughts on these figures? And I gotta say, I, I like Wong. The Doctor Strange has such a hard time standing, and I think it has to do with, like, the super heavy detents in the ankles, along with the really heavy cape. He's not terrible by any means, um, just, again, not something that I wanted, and it's a little annoying that we have to buy another Doctor Strange to get Wong, like, a brand new character. I mean, I get why, but also, it doesn't make it any better. So, with that in mind, at a price point of around 50 bucks... I'm going to go ahead and give this two-pack a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's anything amazing, but, like, I don't really want this Doctor Strange, and i got to figure out what to do with it. Wong is pretty fun for what he is, but, I mean, it's Wong. It's Wong is cool, but he's, he probably wasn't even in my top 50 comic book characters I would have wanted, but I'll take it nonetheless. So, with that being said, I believe that's all i got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all those apps, and have a good time, so I'm sure you will, too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk us on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me. So DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.